Hello everyone. Today our topic is software matrix, definition, benefits, and scope. There are several definitions of software matrix. One of them, a software matrix is a measure of software characteristics that are measurable or countable. Another definition, the continuous application measurement-based techniques to the software development process and its products to supply meaningful and timely management information together with the use of those techniques to improve that process and its products. And a third definition, software metrics are a measure of some property of a piece of software or its specifications. The goal is obtaining objective, reproducible and quantifiable measurements, which may have numerous valuable applications, schedule and budget planning, cost estimation, quality assurance testing, software debugging, software performance optimization, and optimal personal task assignments. So the term measure or measurement is essential in every software metric definition. A quote by Lord Kelvin, when you can measure what you are speaking about and express it in numbers, you know something about it. But when you cannot measure it, when you cannot express it in numbers, your knowledge is of a meager and unsatisfactory kind. It may be the beginning of knowledge, but you have scarcely in your thoughts advanced to the state of science. Next, advantages and benefits of software metrics. Software metrics are valuable for many reasons, including measuring software performance, planning work items, measuring productivity, and many other uses. Software metrics plays a major role in software engineering. Some of its benefits are tracking the software quality metrics helps the management to improve the efficiency of their software development procedure, assess increasing the return on investment, better control the process of software development life cycle and clear visibility. It helps to increase the production and quality, find out the many kinds of test techniques and methods during this process, detect the errors which creates problems on the first level of development life cycle. We can determine the size and the cost of the software. We can find out the more important information about the capacity of productivity and quality. Software development metrics help the stakeholders to analyze the functioning of the organization, and it also helps the customers in testing and evaluation the product. Next, disadvantages of software metrics and how software metrics lack clarity. Terms used to describe software metrics often have multiple definitions and ways to count or measure characteristics. For example, line of code is a common measure of software development but there are two ways to count each line of code. The first one is to count each physical line that ends with a retain. This count may include lines of this code or comments. And this is why some software developers do not accept this method of counting. Another way, each logical statement could be considered as a line of code. This means that a single software package could have two very different line of code counts depending on which counting method is used. This makes it difficult to compare software simply by lines of code or any other metric without a standard definition. And this is why establishing a measurement method and consistent units of measurements to be used throughout the life of the project is very important. In addition to the lack of clarity, software metrics have the following disadvantages. The application of software metrics is not always easy, and in some cases, it's difficult and costly. The verification and justification of software metrics are based on historical empirical data whose validity is difficult to verify. The definition and derivation of software metrics are usually based on assuming which are not standardized and may depend upon tools available and working environment. Most of predictive models rely on estimates of certain variables, which are often not known precisely. Software metrics are useful for managing software products, but not for evaluating the performance of the technical staff. Next, scope of software metrics. Software metrics contains many activities such as data collection, performance and evaluation models, quantity models and measures, productivity measure and model, reliability models, structural and complexity metrics, capability maturity assessment, management by metrics, evaluation of methods and tools, cost and default estimation. For today, that's all. Thank you.